Howdy everybody, this is Steve KM9G and I have another open transmit modification for you for the Zygu 6100. This one is even easier and doesn't require a constant change whenever we change the firmware around. So what you'll notice now that I've got this thing enabled on my radio is that there is this new, ooh, you saw it in the thumbnail, I know that's why you're here, this new full TX, FTX indicator and it will transmit just like it does with the other OpenTX mod, but you don't need to copy files around, you just need to edit files. Let's get over to our server console, server console, because the radio is a server, it's a host. Um, you guys know how to log into this thing over terminal or over SSH, pick your favorite passion. You get logged in with the root user and the root password. We all know how secret and, and, and secure, I almost said insecure, how secret and secure that is. Go into your uh, CD slash Etsy slash XG radio folder. And inside of your XG radio folder, there are two files. One of these is called man.conf. Let's take a look at man.conf. Factory mode enable. I think this turns on or turns off the, um, the push the set the memory channel thing, push the weird button thing that I did in a previous video. That video will be linked at the end of this one if you want to see how to get in and like change the um, the, the biasing and the offsets and the, the power outputs and all that kind of stuff on your radio. I don't recommend doing it, but it is neat to know that it's there. It's also fully Chinese and not English. So it's going to be like, you'll see it in that video. Anyway, so that's in the, the manufacturer mode file. There's also this xgradio.com file. Let's take a look at that file. Looks like it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Let's do an edit on that file. And if I come down here to the end, I can change disable to enable and then write the file out to disk. This won't actually do anything. You have to restart the QT app, the front panel display app. And you do that with Etsy, init.d, S99. Oh, it's capital S, S99, user app start. And then you type in restart after that. This will shut the front panel display down, bring the front panel display back up and you'll see your radio screen go black and you'll see it come back up and you'll see that f-tx icon on there and away you go so two ways to fix this one is to come back in here and edit this file again if you want to turn this off change enable to disable but i'm not enable enable and the other way to do it is to reflash your firmware every time you flash the firmware on this for now these configuration files will get reset back to factory defaults. So hope you enjoy that. That video on the manufacturer mode is going to be parked right over here. Take a look at that one next. Otherwise, thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.